Hey friends, happy Monday. It's a fresh week, new intention, yada yada, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I kind of just went and shared where I'm at inside the coach tribe. So if you're part of that community, go peep the video. I talked a lot about expectations and I want to talk about expectations in here as well. They're not my expectations of you. Um, it's about your expectations of your own journey. And that I had therapy today and that was the overarching theme was, hey Tia, was um, expectations. And expectations are, we, we all have them and oftentimes they're so big, right? And so our journey doesn't feel like it's tracking the way it should. We don't feel like we are where we should be or where we wanna be or it's taking too long or it feels too hard or it's blah, 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 whatever. You guys, you can focus on that. You can put your energy into that stuff where it's not going fast enough or it doesn't look the way you, you think it does or instead you can flip the script on it and you can change the way you're viewing it. Like what ways am I winning today? It's your book of proof. I used to do this, I should do this, where every single morning after I would do my gratitude practice, which I'm also not doing right now, but after I do my gratitude practice, I had, I would write down three ways I was winning at whatever was important to me. Motherhood, wife life, my business, being a human, whatever, my, my fitness journey, my business, I would look for proof of the ways that I am getting traction and the ways that I am winning because we collect ways that we're not enough and it's not good enough and that we're falling behind or whatever. So I'm asking you if you are struggling with expectation and not being where you want to be and maybe this big like overarching feeling of overwhelm or lack or just a temper tantrum, which I've been just like having these temper tantrums like all the time lately because my expectations are out of whack and off kilter. And so I decided today I cannot control the outcome of so many things. I can't. I can't. As much as I'd love to, I literally can't. But I can control my mindset. It's why we talk about personal development all the time. And so I am recommitting to collecting the proof that I'm winning. Maybe it wasn't the world's best workout. Maybe the maybe it's not unfolding on this timeline that I expect it to. But what is the positive spin on it? What is the win in it? Changing your expectation and focusing more on the ways you are winning and the th controlling your controllables, I think it's a game changer, especially as we're all balancing all the things, we're navigating sickness and healing, and just freaking life, man. It's so easy to get bogged down with the not enough, this is too hard, I'm overwhelmed, all the bad words. It takes intentional action, intentional mindset to instead focus on the ways you're winning. And it's not sugarcoating it, that's not what I'm asking you to do. I'm not asking you to only share a highlight reel. I want you to be honest about where you're at with your journey. If you have these expectations, if you have these goals, whatever that looks like for you, then you need to take daily action. And this is what I just told the coach tribe. It's so easy to get stuck in our own way and overthink it and not take action. Well, not only am I asking you to start collecting your book of proof, the way you are winning at your own unique, perfectly imperfect journey, but also what do you need to do every single day to win your day? What do you need to do to crawl into bed at the end of the night and be like, I showed up. I showed up for myself. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be mine. For me, that's movement every single day, no matter what. Today, I had, um, last, yesterday my shoulder was bothering me and so I didn't work out today, work out. I still showed up, I still did some, I did some, uh, what was it, morning meltdown. I, I just moved because it's important, because I've made it a non-negotiable, because this is part of me winning at my own journey. It doesn't need to look like anyone else's. Stop saying it need, you need to have this certain benchmark in order to have success. And instead, be like, this is my journey. Imperfect as it is, it's gonna take as long as it is, but I'm gonna show up every single day. I have the expectation that I'm gonna do my best and surrender the rest, okay? Okay, so asking you that rhetorical question, you can drop it in a comment if you want. Maybe today is a brand new start for you, it's a fresh program. If you're like, well, I, I didn't, but I want to, that sounds great, cool. You're not too late, no matter when you watch this video. If you watch it on Wednesday or Friday, you're exactly where you need to be at exactly the right time to change the trajectory of your own freaking journey. It will not be magical. It's not some weird fix. I mean, you might be doing the fix, but 
It takes action and it takes time and it takes consistency and it takes belief in yourself. All right. That doesn't mean it'll be perfect or easy or sunshiny. You're going to want to do it on all the days. It's not a pedicure or a nap. All right. It is you being intentional about where you're at and what you need and then taking the daily action to touch it. Five minutes of a workout, dancing in your kitchen, it, it all adds up. It all adds up. And it's how you win your journey. It's how you get momentum. It's how you change the self-limiting belief from this is too hard, I can't do this, that's for other people. And instead be like, this is my journey. This is my imperfectly perfect journey. And I'm going to honor it. And I'm going to be more holistic in the way I approach it. And I'm actually going to do what I need to do versus strong arming the whole process and then feeling guilt and shame and getting all... Okay? Okay. So collect the proof of the ways you're winning. Recommit. Realign as many times as you need to. And then ask yourself honestly, what do you need to do to go to bed tonight and tomorrow night and on all the nights? And be like, I, I did it. I showed up. I touched my journey. I did the things that really matter. So like I started to say before I went off on a tangent, for me, it's movement and it's water. Water's a non-negotiable. I might eat like a dumpster fire with the American cheese and the French fries and <laughs> all the things, but I get my water every single day, no matter what. If that means I have to stand over the sink, it's just, it's just something that I made a deal with myself that I know I feel so much better when I'm hydrated and who cares? I might have to get up and pee 40 times, but it beats waking up super dehydrated and just feeling all off track. And that's what I've learned about this journey is it's a domino effect. It doesn't have to be everything, but if you stop doing one thing and then you get stuck in your feels and you get all shamey and you stop doing all the things, it's just, a, it's a vicious cycle and you're the driver of your bus. You can change the trajectory. You can change the vibe. You can start to collect the proof you can edit your expectations and just be really freaking proud of yourself of where you're at, right? Right. Okay, good talk. So what are your expectations? What actions are you actually taking every single day? Can you please come adjust my glasses because I keep going like this. Do the thing, all right? What's my plan for the week? If you're like, I, I need a plan, what's your plan, Sarah? My plan is, this is, I'm in between programs. So I don't really know. I am starting job one on the 27th. You are welcome to come along with me. That program has already released for coaches for early access. Otherwise, you can unlock it on Thursday. It is one month long. The workouts are like 20 to 30 minutes long. Okay? Five days a week. I think it will be good. And the, the name of it is job one because your journey is your job. Even if you're not a beach body coach. Okay? You living your best, happiest, healthiest, sanest life, that's your job. And if we can't take care of ourselves, how are we supposed to do all the other things? We can't. So stop putting your self-care and your journey at the bottom of the list. It needs to be at the top of the list. Because I tell, I'm telling you from personal experience, when you're taking care of yourself, when you prioritize your own freaking journey, and when you stop acting like you're just you know a freaking martyr because you have 500 million things to do, when you instead start to collect your proof of winning and when you start to take action, it just gets easier and you start to fall in love with the process. Will it be overnight? Maybe not, maybe not, but it's so worth it, okay? So I'm starting job one on the 27th. I still haven't unlocked my package, so it's okay. Don't freak out. We have plenty of time. And in the meantime, I don't really know. Next week, I'm gonna share a whole bunch of sample workouts with you guys. So if you're like, you don't wanna pay extra, you wanna use the tools you have, that's totally cool. You do you, boo-boo. So we'll be sharing lots of workouts like Transform 20 and Morning Meltdown that you can sample them. I'll share the link, uh, the Vimeo link, so you don't even have to have BOD, and you can see what you want to do. And um, this week, I don't know. I might do body, the live workouts. I have not yet decided. So it's okay. See, I still showed up to my journey. I still pushed play this morning. I pulled up my BOD. I did what I could. I celebrated it. I shared it on social media. I logged it in the accountability thread. <laughs> And that's my journey. That's where I'm at today. I won my day because I'm drinking my water. I will not go to bed until my jug is empty. I moved my body. I plugged into my tribe. And today I listened to an audiobook. Those are the things I have to do every single day. I get to do every single day that definitely change my mood and my vibe and help me feel like I'm getting momentum. I can crawl into bed tonight and be like, did I mess up some other areas of my life? Oh yeah, you sure betcha. I sure did. But I also prioritized my journey. I didn't make excuses around it and I didn't come up with all these ways to sabotage it. 
Okay, so if you need help, let me know. I am gonna hit my messenger here in a little bit. If you're part of the Coach Tribe, I'm gonna upload, I did upload a video and it's gonna go into our messenger thread. So go watch that. It's about how to get momentum in your business when you're feeling super overwhelmed. And you know, expectations, what are yours?